Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte signs his first executive order. It aims to streamline 12 agencies with existing anti-poverty programs by placing them under the supervision of Cabinet Secretary Juna Vasco. The Duterte administration will evaluate existing programs to reduce poverty. If deemed necessary, the administration will formulate what it says is a more responsive set of programs complementing existing ones. Some of the agencies to be streamlined are the National Anti-Poverty Commission, National Food Authority, Authority, National Youth Commission, and the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA. In a previous interview, Evasco said he'd focus on anti-poverty programs if given the chance to serve national government. Vice President Lenny Robredo visits President Rodrigo Duterte at Malacanang Palace Monday afternoon. Robredo's visit is not open to media coverage but is broadcast briefly on Facebook Live by the state-run RTVM. In the video, Duterte can be heard offering Robredo a snack. Their interaction for the rest of the meetings inaudible. This is the first formal meeting between the two leaders, though they met each other briefly during the turnover ceremony of the Armed Forces of the Philippines last Friday. Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi asks Environment Secretary Gina Lopez to consider a balance between coal and renewables. Lopez is a staunch critic of coal-fired power plants. We have to help one another find that solution. I'm sure uh, Ms. Gina Lopez is not uh, going to mark that uh, there is a solution. For sure, there is a solution, but we have to work together to find that solution. And the uh, solution to uh, adequate, uh, energy in a statement Monday, Cousy adds, quote, Coal is more dependable and a more reliable source than renewables. He also says the Philippines can't be dependent on just a single energy source. The use of fossil fuels like coal as an energy source is the number one cause of global warming. <laughs> The United Kingdom's frontrunner for the prime ministerial post, Theresa May, vows to push for a trade deal with the European Union, limiting immigration. Though she campaigned for the Remain side, May says she will honor the result of the referendum. She also rules out holding a general election before 2020 and insists there should be no timescale for the UK's exit from the EU. <laughs> Philippine national men's basketball team Gilas is getting ready for the Olympic qualifier. Head coach Tab Baldwin says the team is, in his words, serious and focused. Gilas player Gabe Norwood says the team is, quote, focused on getting our game plan together. Gilas will have two practices Monday, a day before the first game Tuesday, where they'll face France, ranked fifth in the world. After France, Gilas will face New Zealand. The winner of the Six Nation Tournament will qualify for the Olympics to be held in Rio de Janeiro. Brazil. The Philippines has not qualified for Olympics basketball since 1972. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. Remember, tomorrow begins today.